Ladies and Gentlemen, hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen React hier auf Pizza mit TV. Heute mit dem Hello. Jonathan, dem Christian, dem Sebastian und mit dem Peter. Schön, dass ihr eingeschaltet Hi. habt. Und heute schauen wir uns an das Making of zu dem Mr. Beast Video, was, zu Squid Game, was wir uns schon angeguckt haben. Weil da haben wir uns ein paar Fragen gestellt nice wie, wie hat der das gemacht? Wie hat der das gemacht? Faszinierend. Und dann haben ganz viele von euch in die Vor Vorschläge geschrieben, ey, guckt euch doch einfach das Making of an. Es gibt nämlich ein Making of was. dazu. Ja. Das wurde unter anderem vorgeschlagen von Airport Freak. Vielen Dank dafür. Und äh, ja, das gucken wir uns jetzt tatsächlich an. Von dir selber, Peter. Ich bin Airport Freak. Es gibt nur automatische Untertitel. Es gibt nur automatisch erzeugte Untertitel. Ja, dann lassen wir die lieber aus. Literally rebuilding every single set from Squid Game in real life. Right. But the okay, Moment, da Problem muss ich direkt nochmal zurückgehen. Every single set from oh. Okay, das war also tatsächlich auf jeden Fall schon mal so groß, ja. wie es gewirkt hat. Ja. Das, das hatte ich mir auch also so Meinst groß, du, die waren plötzlich kleiner ja. oder was? Also. Nee. Aber das wollte ich jetzt nur noch mal festhalten. Alles mit Holz so um, umbaut. Ist wahrscheinlich eine große Halle. Ja. Ja, ja alles mit Holz umbaut, das angemalt wird, ja, okay. We came in real life. But the problem is, some sets aren't realistic, like this one and this ja. one. So, I ja, ja, guck haben mal, so gemacht. haben die das nämlich ja, ja, gemacht. Das haben die wirklich auf so einem riesen Turm gemacht. <lacht> oh, no, ja, haben die auch. Mm. <lacht> I called in these guys to help me bring them to life. We're gonna show you how it's done. So on the record, if the CG in the video is bad, then I hate him. But if it's good, then he is literally my favorite human on the planet. <laughs> Time will tell. Okay. Das war echt gut gemacht. We have over 350 shots we have to do in 10 days. Okay, wait. Same how did we even get here? Let's rewind. <laughs> If you're familiar with the content on our channel, you know that we do cinematic pre-visualizations and VFX. And back in March, Mr. Beast hit us up to talk about visual effects. We met at one of their sets and actually ended up in the Lambo video. I made a run for it, but Mike actually made it to sixth. And then Mr. Beast posted the TikTok. You know the one. It blew up. Squid Games was gonna be a thing. And that's how we ended up back here doing the visual effects for Mr. Beast Squid Game. Oh, yeah. Mr. Beast is a fan of doing everything practically, which yields very realistic reactions from people. But not everything in this episode could be done realistically, which brings us to the tug of war stage. You might not know that many movies are actually made in the computer prior to being created in real life. They just What? have the quality level of the original Shrek. It's called pre-visualization. It allows everyone to see the vision and flow of the content, as well as understand the scope and budget necessary. By using the power of Unreal Engine, we virtually created every set in this video that matched the real world versions. This even allowed us to film this scene prior in the computer, so the team knew exactly how to shoot it in real life. Nee, also in das haben die, haben das die haben die, gefilmt. genau, das haben die, nein, in zehn Tagen haben die die Post-Production gemacht. Wir sind gerade bei der Pre-Production. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Also die haben quasi kann die aber Sets. Kann nicht so ewig gewesen sein, oder? Ich meine. Nee. Das kann nicht lange nee. gewesen sein in der Pre-Production, weil der hat dieses TikTok-Ding gepostet und das hat nicht unendlich lange gedauert, bis das Video ja, dann tatsächlich eben. auch online ging. Echt krass. Ja, aber das heißt, die haben die Stages schon digital gebaut bevor die überhaupt angefangen haben, das im Real Life zu planen. Weil mhm. es natürlich gut sein kann, dass er das gepostet hat und da schon in der Planung war. Ja, das halte ich für, sogar für sehr realistisch, ja. glaube ich. Nur damit du quasi, du hast das schon in deinem 3D-Ding und kannst so besser abschätzen, okay, was können wir davon tatsächlich umsetzen, wie viel Material brauchen wir dafür, wie groß muss der Raum sein. Wie muss es bauen auch, ja. Und du kannst natürlich diese 3D-Bausteine vielleicht später sogar benutzen, wenn du dann alles im Greenscreen da drüber legst. Ah. Want to know what 456 people look like on this set? How about how long the bridge needs to be to fit teams of 10? And what does that even look like with a 10 mm lens? This video game technology ah, allowed right, us to uh. pre-vis and tech-vis all of this and see it in front of our eyes. Awesome. And because this software is used to make games like Fortnite, we even turned one of them into a playable video game. But more on that later. So we've got our big Dell computer. This thing's got an NVIDIA A6000 in it. So it crushes every Unreal Engine scene we hand it. And here you can see our computer set and the actual set. We're going to combine them. And literally, we are able to preview our Unreal Engine scene. What? That is ja fucking awesome. Das ist ja krank, ich meine, das macht man halt bei Kinofilmen auch schon ja. lange, aber ich wusste nicht, dass das bei solchen Amateurprojekten halt auch schon so drin ist, ey. Ja, Frage ist, oh, ich ob das noch ein Amateurprojekt ist. Läuft. Ja, fair enough. Aber es wird wahrscheinlich nicht so viel gekostet haben wie ein Kinofilm. Was hat er gesagt? 30 Millionen Dollar oder so? Tja. Ja, Christian, das ist schon mehr als jeder deutsche Film fast. <lacht> <lacht> ja, ja. Composite. That's pretty crazy. 
Dude. Hey, Sean, can you throw me on a 24 millimeter lens? And just like that, we're able to update the focal length on the lens virtually to be able to decide what's gonna look best for the final composite when we do our visual effects. A little closer, about a foot. So we're trying to get as high as possible to be able to get this master wide that they have. It's super cool. And our previous showed that we needed to be exactly 35 feet up. Literally just roll a couple seconds and cut. Jo, dann schneiden die halt aus und fertig, ne? Krass. <lacht> The show actually used blue screen, and as you can see, we've got black curtains hanging up. This allows us to actually have some final shots in camera and speed up our post-production workflow, but also do a luma key and work on them a little further than others. And with this method, the contestants feel like they're in an actual arena, and they don't feel like they're on a movie set, which is really cool for the reactions of everybody involved, as well as the cinematographers who are all running around in real time. There's no redos here. We don't have a take two. Okay, ja, das heißt, das dadurch, dass sie diese schwarzen Dinger genutzt haben, konnten die manche der Shots einfach eins zu eins so benutzen. Ja, weil ja. du im Hintergrund halt auch einfach schwarzen Hintergrund hast. Und nur wenn die halt mit der Kamera mal höher oder tiefer gegangen sind, mussten die dann was im Hintergrund verändern. Ja. Mhm. Das ist natürlich krass. Das ist echt smart. Das ist doch einfach wie krank. Die Hallen, äh, sind, äh, wobei, sieht mir jetzt ah. nicht so aus. Ich dachte, das wären Flugzeughallen, aber America hat eine Menge Platz. Ich wollte auch gerade sagen, da muss ja allein, um den Trecker reinzustellen, brauchst du schon so eine Riesenhalle. Contestants are coming in. Their contestants lined out the door. There's 456 people right outside waiting to play this game. Are everything gonna go well? Oh yeah. Oh, at yeah. least from your side. <laughs> We're looking at this. Looks perfect. Okay, good. Good luck out there, man. Let's do it. Front man. Front man. Ich denke, ich sah alles nicht gesehen hast, ne? Das ist mega gut gemacht. Holy shit. Alter, was? Ganz nett, ne? Alter, holy shit. Also das in der Zeit ist vor allen Dingen so unfassbar beeindruckend. Wie das einfach mal. auch so gut aussieht, ey. Und die Unreal Engine ist ja umsonst, glaube ich sogar. Ja, also, kann sein. Also du musst, bei Spielen ist das so, du kannst die umsonst benutzen und wenn dein Spiel dann Summe X einnimmt, musst du prozentual was abgeben. Mhm. Wenn du aber drunter bleibst, ist es umsonst. Und wenn du halt drüber bist, musst du nur was von dem Gewinn abdrücken, wenn ich mich richtig erinnere. Bei, bei solchen Projekten weiß ich aber nicht, wie das funktioniert. With a big project like this and only 10 days to do it, we had to scale up our team a little bit. And on top of that, we had to move our entire production over to the Mr. Beast team to be near their editors. So that included all of our computers and all of the networking. No, I have a container parking board. <laughs> Is that rolling? We got Luke and Taos here. These are both my roommates in college. That's how I met, right? To do as many shots as the movie The Matrix had in just 10 days was insane. But we assembled a team of talented artists. And there's a bit of competition going on between everybody because we gamified it a little bit where we've got the classic like Silicon Valley progress reports with the sticky notes over here and everyone's headshot. So people are racing. Yeah, it's not schlecht, ne? Yeah, krank. So, you can't write on your Vita when you worked with it, as well as ever. Ja, ich glaube, die zehn Tage hast du aber auch ziemlich durchgearbeitet. Ja, also da ja, war da nichts mit, ja, acht Stunden und Dafür Pause sieht und so. Das sieht echt fit aus, muss ich sagen. Ja, das stimmt. Also. Genau am Anfang. Ja. That's in the video is a cinematic shot that I kind of snuck in the edit and I'm glad it made the cut. And we shot this by using a blue screen, key it all out, and then we used the power of Unreal Engine with the scene we built to put it behind the character with our tracked camera that Brendan tracks in the computer. So he basically matches the exact move of the camera, we put it in Unreal Engine, and then we have this combination shot that looks awesome. We add some lens flares at the end and it just looks realistic. It's super cool. And remember how I told you that we can use this to actually make a video game? Check this out. Is this what Taos has been so, doing? Oh no. Yeah. yeah. We turned it into a game. This is all he's done. All it only took an hour. We just converted the map. All right, so 50-50. Is it a 50-50 shot? What do you have here? It's all, it's all different. It's, it's all different. It's all varied. It, okay. It, it, there is a kind of like threshold at the foot you go. Okay. So it gives you a little bit of a dopamine hit at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Guys, I'm three in right now. Four in. Oh, Sam. Someone help me. Switch up. Oh, no! no! Oh, no! As we were getting closer, we were excited to show our work off. You want me to just come in now? Yeah, dude, if you could come in right now, that'd be great. And take a look at some of the stuff we're working on. Cool. Oh this is kind of a color pass of us working on some of the red light, green light stuff. So this was actually all shot in a warehouse. Yeah, that's yeah, super well. Insane. Everyone yeah. actually like trickles out. Yeah, so you can is see the, the teams, teams like, actually like are continuous I love throughout it. the entire That foam's not real, right? Yeah, everything's no. shaking. <laughs> <laughs> everything's shaking out. I don't know. How do you do this? I want to find this one. Wait, was war nicht real? Ja, dass die anderen da unten standen, glaube ich, oder? Achso, ich habe das yeah. Phone verstanden. Die, okay. Die, die Dinger da unten meinte er, glaube yep. ich. Wait, that foam's not real, right? Ah, foam! Yeah, yeah. Hey, ah! Everything's fake on that. I don't know, how do you do this? I want to find this one that's so funny, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's one funny. of my favorite one of my favorite things about it is like we For put hair. it together and we're like, we need some, we need some dust. <laughs> <laughs> I want Zara to pull up a shot. So oh, once that's we have good. it. It's just coolness <laughs> overload. Like, I don't even know how to react. <laughs> Can we upload tomorrow? Alright, <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, we're pulling it on later. Here we go. A lot of this is actually using like video game engines now. Uh, yeah, an so actual like, game version. Is there version. anything you guys care about? <laughs> we were trying to come up with like what the game theory is behind this. It's like, yeah, what's the percentage and then how high does it get? The first person to finish gets a million dollars. You guys have it already. You should hit the subscribe button right below this video. I mean, look how hard they're working. Come on. It was an insane amount of work, but with this great team and using this new real-time technology, we were able to pull it off. And we were really excited once we did. That's so crass. A YouTube video, no? That's sick. Respect. Holy shit. Heavy, Oh yeah, and one more thing. Something really cool that didn't make the cut just because we were so pressed for time. When you've got a friend in Maui who's got access to a helicopter, you give him the green light to get that shot to replicate the show. I know. And we're super pumped with how this turned out. Thank you so much for watching the behind the scenes, and we hope you enjoyed it. And please be sure to check out some of our other content. Yeah. And consider subscribing to be updated on Ey, die können ich würde sagen, uns. im nächsten Cutter-Meeting sagen wir, unsere ja. Videos sollen ab jetzt auch so sein. <lacht> nee, lokale Games, dann laden wir die Wenn mal wir ein. Wenn wir denen dann, dann wahrscheinlich 30 Millionen Dollar zahlen, sagen die, machen die das. <lacht> Aber das wäre ganz schön <lacht> schlechter Deal für uns, muss ich sagen. <lacht> <lacht> also beeindruckend. Das ist wirklich Krass, beeindruckend. Ja. Das, das ist halt, wenn du schon sagst, weißt du, so, sowas für ein YouTube-Video, aber das genau das sind die Sachen, die halt so, ein, so eine Plattform braucht, um quasi das nächste Level zu erreichen. Ja. Ähm, ja. Mega geil. Stark. Ja, also good job, Leute, die da gearbeitet haben. Und äh, vielen Dank für diesen Einblick. Euch vielen lieben Dank, dass ihr den mit uns geschaut habt und euch jetzt noch einen schönen Tag. Bis zum nächsten React. Haut rein. Tschüss. Ciao.